Alright guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I am talking an over the top beautiful postcard perfect day here in the end times on the planet. Uh, it is a, what is it, it is a gorgeous Saturday afternoon. It would be August 26th. It is a, it is a uh, balmy 75 degrees, 75 degrees on this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. So, uh, doing what I always do on spectacularly gorgeous Saturday afternoons in the end times is driving around aimlessly by myself well with my little dog driving around aimlessly with my thumb up my ass yep sitting here uh, thinking of all of the various I don't know I'm sure there's all sorts of fucking music events going on today. It's the Saturday market in Ithaca. Uh, I'm sure there's people out kayaking and canoeing and going uh, on wine tasting trips and little romantic getaways with their special clueless moron. Jesus, you know, I'm getting a, a taste of what I'll probably be doing for six months this winter, wherever I end up uh, driving around aimlessly in my gas-sucking truck, driving around in circles like a fucking goldfish in a fish tank back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth and just whiling away my pointless existence waiting around to die so it is a full we have a full house this weekend in the uh, in the vacation rental business all three tiny houses are filled so I don't want to be harshing people's mellows by making a bunch of noise so uh, everyone is settled in so last week what was it I was having a three-year wedding anniversary celebration in a seven year so this week let's see in one cabin we have a 10 year wedding anniversary these are these two very nice women don't know why uh bugs in a jar farm about half of my clients are lesbians so we have these two very nice lesbians celebrating 10 years. 10 years together. All right, we have a brand new listing. Fine looking farmhouse. Oh well. Uh, I'm sure some happy couple will be buying that farmhouse and starting their new dreams. So, we have this very nice lesbian couple celebrating 10 years of domestic bliss and uh, just ask them, you know, well, what are you doing to celebrate? And they said, we're sitting right here on the deck of this tiny house for, they're here for four days and nights. and. I think they went to the grocery store yesterday. So we have them in one house and then in uh, the house next to them 
we have the happy couple celebrating their first year together their first year of domestic marital bliss and uh, so I met them coming down the hill this morning and asked what they were doing to uh, celebrate one year of marital bliss and they were off to breakfast at La Dolce Vita, the sweet life. They were going to have breakfast at La Dolce Vita. Then uh, they were thinking about going to the farmer's market, getting some nice organic produce and uh, probably visiting some waterfalls on this gorgeous day together. They have their whole little life mapped out before them and so they leave and so this next couple shows up I don't know even what their marital status is so they are in town to go to a wedding uh, they are going to, they are celebrating their clueless moron friends getting married on this spectacularly gorgeous day on the planet to uh, start a new life together a new life together I'm going to let this car get by uh, uh, all of these new lives Starting together. There I sit. Driving around aimlessly with my thumb up my ass. I wonder if this is the wedding. Ah, this very well could be the wedding. That's funny. Speak of the devil. I honestly did not mean that. I don't know if that is the wedding my clients are going to or if uh, I'm sure it's not the well probably is because it was at three o'clock this afternoon. It was an outdoor wedding three o'clock this afternoon. That's funny out of all the roads I could have turned on. Yes. A happy young couple starting their new life together. <laughs> oh, fuck. Vaguely remember my first wedding anniversary. And there was already trouble in paradise. I can't remember exactly what the trouble in paradise was on my first wedding anniversary. Oh, God. I made it through seven of those. You know, it's just the big mystery. So how would my life be different instead of this little dog if I had my Doomer Chick Forever sitting next to me right now, sitting next to me right now with my Doomer Chick Forever. I mean, what would my life, how would my life be different if, uh, could just find that mythical twin flame. Uh, where would we be right now? If I was had a woman in my life, uh, we probably would be somewhere doing something. And of course, the big question, would we 
be somewhere doing something seething seething in resentment and anger and just uh, barely contained rage uh, just falling deeper and deeper into some hopeless black pit about how we fucked our lives up and what the fuck were we thinking that this uh, other person could uh, make our lives complete or would we actually be enjoying ourselves out on this spectacularly gorgeous day <clears throat> Enjoying each other's company. Little dog, I don't know where the hell we are. Uh, but anyway, it is a historic day because on August 26th, I am going to have my first BLT. I do not believe it. I have a ripe tomato showing up on August 26th. <laughs> oh, uh, I have no bread. I have the I have the T and the L and the B for the bacon, but I have no bread. Taking the long scenic route to go buy a loaf of bread so I can come back on Saturday night and have my first BLT by myself. So look at this guys. This is an entire, I don't know if you can see this, what this is is an entire maple grove. It is August 26th. This entire stand of little sugar maples is in full autumn color. And there you go. I am looking at 40 sugar maple trees. Uh, in their full autumn splendor. The sugar maples are uh, in full leaf drop before the goldenrod goes into full bloom. I have uh, no clue what this is about. I mean, maybe you guys who've lived up here in upstate New York. Maybe I just don't get something. You know, I have three maples on my on my property that are in full blazing glory. You know, October glory in, uh, in August. I, I probably have 50 maple trees and 47 of them are green. And three of them, of course, one of which is right there behind the deck on one of the tiny houses, has almost lost its leaves. Uh, is, is this normal? Am, am I just unaware that a certain few maple trees uh, every year get their leaves in May and drop them in August? Uh, maybe I'm just uh, missing something. You, you know, I mean, the vast majority, I mean, I don't see one maple tree in all of this. I don't see one turning leaf, and there is that whole grove. Uh, strange times on the planet. So anyway... This is my scenic 
driving around randomly burning up fossil fuels Get my thumb up my ass and my little dog there's this puppy you need to roll this window down oh god goddamn life so uh Yes, I will have a big Saturday night of eating BLTs and drinking tequila and uh, saying good nights to all the lovers celebrating their lives together. to get up tomorrow and change all of the dirty sheets. So I have a single woman coming in tomorrow for three nights. So who knows. Maybe my doomer chick forever will arrive tomorrow. And uh... My life will be saved. <sighs> what do all of these people in these houses do? What do people do? What do you think of the dog? 73 degrees at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on August 26th. I'm, oh, I've, I'm pretty sure where I'm coming out is where I, some chick I met on a pile of fish last year. She, uh, got corona panic that's the last I ever heard of her I think I'm coming up to her house maybe I'll have to uh, stop by to see if she met the man of her dreams on pile of fish Find your twin flame on a pile of fish. Uh, you still can. It's not a very good thing to have in front of your. Uh, it's looking very much like a bear knocking over those big trash cans. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the bear to show up. I guess Sister Sandy had a bear in her yard last week. Only a matter of time where I'm dealing with that shit. Get this abandoned old farmhouse. Uh, with the wraparound porch. I guess, uh... Their little dreams didn't work out in that farmhouse. Alright. I want to get back to my music. I'm listening to Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. I get to listen to all of these love songs and breakup songs. This tree, yeah, yeah, that's a, there's a maple right there. 
bright red maple. Go figure. Oh my gosh, 